it says we are live hello everybody welcome to today's stream it's been a while hasn't it i'm currently working on posting on my instagram to announce that i'm playing bear and breakfast this is a very sweet game that i am so excited for um let me just make sure the stream is loading uh yes it is cool so, we're going to get into the game momentarily. I'm super excited. I hope you all have been okay. I'm sorry for my absence. I've been faking out college stuff, job stuff, car stuff. My voice is different. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's been a bit. Um, I don't even remember the last time I streamed. And when I tried to stream today, it said I was playing Little Nightmares DLC from like forever ago. And it was really weird. I'm also in my room, so the, like, ambiance or sound might be a bit different. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, I'm excited to get into the game. Um, I'm just updating some stuff because I had to start a few minutes late because of the thing with the Little Nightmares glitch. I don't know why that happened, but welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining and coming in. I'm super excited to play this. I don't even know if I can plug in my controller. We'll see. Well, we will see. How is everybody today? What are you guys up to? Someone got a plushie? Nice. What of? What of? Oh my gosh. I have missed you guys a lot. Things have been so chaotic and I just haven't been in the best men mental state, I want to say. So I haven't been forcing myself to do things that I know I'm not going to do a 100% on. You know? So, that's why, like, there was a bit of an absence, I want to say. I hope this game can run while I'm streaming. I have not been able to test. So, we're about to see. <laughs> okay, cool. Game's loading. It's really loud for some reason. I apologize. There we go. Now it's back to normal. Alright, cool. The game's loading up. I had to close it and reopen it to figure out the glitch. It was so dumb. I'm really annoyed about it, by the way. Alright, sorry, I'm still posting my Instagram post. It's a plushie of, plushie of a character I really like, Rin. It was a YouTuber's character and all the funds they got, they got sent to Ukraine. Oh, nice! Nice. Um, that's awesome. Also, Blue, sorry I haven't posted any Vincent Henley lore. <laughs> no, oh my gosh. If you're sick, you take a break. I was feeling kind of sick yesterday, too. I was like, should I stream? I wasn't feeling that great. I worked like an eight and a half hour shift yesterday at uh, the grocery store I work at. So <laughs> I was really tired. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I hope everyone's feeling okay. What's everyone up to? Like, what are you guys doing? What have you been doing? Can you guys hear the game in the background while I set it up? <laughs> I think so. That's good. I hope I'm not too loud. That would upset me. I don't want to be too loud for you guys. Alright. We'll just get started in a minute. I'm still figuring stuff out. Your grandfather passed away the day after my last stream. Blue, I am so sorry. I'm very sorry for your loss. And I hope you're doing alright. That kind of stuff. Regardless of if you're close to a person in your family or not. Um, I've had a grandparent pa pass away and it was very devastating even though I wasn't close. I am very sorry for your loss and I hope you're doing all right. Trying to not overeat. Oh, this is making your day, thank you. That's so nice to hear. You just saw, you just got home, hello. Welcome Marwa and Minty Charcoal. Trying not to overeat because my throat is sore and I couldn't eat anything yesterday. 
Oh, gosh. Yeah, I feel you on that. It's allergy season, guys. It's allergy season. Alright, I'm so sorry this is taking a minute to, like, set up. It's really taking me a second. I just want to make sure it looks the best that it can. Alright. is what we're about to be playing. She has returned. Yeah, I have. Um, Bunny, it's okay. This make, stream makes me feel a bit better. I was really close to my grandpa and I'm doing better now. I'm really glad that you're doing better now. Um, loss is a big thing and it's something that we all will end up dealing with at least once in our life, I would think. But it's no joke and some people are like even like over like quote unquote simple things like a pet goldfish that could be absolutely traumatizing to someone goldfish grandparent any loss can be difficult for a person and it's good to understand that and i'm glad that you're doing so much better now we're just a little bit better it's gonna it'd be hard i'm not gonna lie but you're gonna be all right, and we're all here for you, okay? Last stuff happened for you in the past weeks. I feel you. It's been chaos. The world's been chaos. Everything's just been chaos. I feel you. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to figure some stuff out. You lost a bunch of friends and I'm sad about it, but your mom just tells you that you can I can't look good. It's- loss is hard, once again, and some people don't understand that kind of thing. So, it's just- it's upsetting. Hold on. I'm sorry! <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to read something at the same time so I can figure something out while also talk and have a full on conversation. It's a serious conversation that I'm trying to have too. Okay, I have this open. Okay, cool. Um, chat is now open on my phone instead, which is where it needs to be. Cool. Alright. But yeah, as I was saying, Loss is a really hard thing to deal with. I've personally dealt with loss of friendships, of family, of memories and friends and all that kind of stuff. It happens. You know? And it's just, it's unfortunate that it does happen, but it's something we all end up going through. Just like growing up kind of thing. And it's gonna be okay. We're all in this together kind of thing. Like in High School Musical, like when, what they once said in High School Musical, that great movie that everyone jokes about, but I used to love so much. <laughs> all right. We have a new background. And the game crashed. But we have a new background. Um, I was sick of the old one. I really was. And I wanted to change it up a bit so in the bottom left you guys can see uh where you can find me i put all my ats that i am willing to share um i have a little bio for myself down there just in case anyone would like to use it sometime um and i have a guest box it shows who's in me with the discord call if they come in and i'm working on making little character faces to talk just how, like how me, I'm over here talking. Um, I want to make things like that for other people when they join the stream with me, like Jack, Ella, Aster, Egan, some of my other friends, some other people if they ever want to stream with me. But yeah, so that will be there. Um, yes. 
And then above my head, right on top, is where the garden is. And I made that so whenever someone subscribes, anything like that, it pops up there and it's in that little box. And the game should pop up here, but the game crashed and I have to open that up again because my computer is being a big old stinky. Let's work, please. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, thank you guys. I'm, I'm, I was getting kind of tired of the old one. Oh gosh, this game is so loud. I was getting so sick of the old one. So I think it was time for a new change, you know? And change isn't always a bad thing. Change can be a very good thing. But yeah, um, let's open the game back up. Cool, I have the chat up. That's good. I just noticed all my idols are in the early 20s. I honestly still forget sometimes that I'm not, like, a kid anymore. And I'm 21 years old. It's so weird to think about. I'm in college. I'm going into my fourth year of college. You know? And I have a lot of pro projects on the way that I plan on sharing with you guys. And I might talk a bit about today because I'm super excited for all of them, you know? And, uh... I don't know. Anyways, OC War. Oh boy. Okay, my controller does work with the game. Your idols are Robin the Dragon, Sakura Shark, Bunny, me, Cyber, and they're all 19 or early 20s. Oh wow. Alright, we're gonna start the game. I'm so. Oh, there's save slots! I could have played this without you guys even knowing. <laughs> no, not beer and breakfast! No! No, no, no! We're playing a sweet, wholesome game. There's no triggers to mention that I can think of. There might be a character smoking or drinking in the background. But it's a child-friendly game, kind of like safe. So there shouldn't be anything bad. If there is, we'll deal with it. But, uh, yeah. So we'll do this one. I'm assuming it's... Why is this... Can I just move stuff? Okay. Okay, I'm so excited! Ah! This game looks so pretty. And I've been hearing about it for a really long time. Okay, I'm just gonna play with it, like, on a normal keyboard. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Oh, I feel this one already. Mom's going to kill me. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent once again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. <laughs> Sounds like me, also. Wah! He's so cute! Hello? I can't move. Uh, do not. Don't what? See? Because it's already happening. I gotta give him a good voice, but I can't move. Can't do that either. Wazd to move around. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> We're so stinky! Look at us! <laughs> you mean like an introspection thing? Okay, he wants us to find something, but you guys are saying stuff in chat. Bed. Okay, we'll find the bed. Um. Ba, 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 ba. I got Twitch? Nice! I didn't mean alcohol, I meant the non-alcoholic drinks, like root beer or something. Oh, okay. I've had root beer, it's so good. <laughs> 
I'm very baby faced compared to my classmates. I feel that a lot of people think I'm Ella's younger sister. Ella is my younger sister. Like, very younger than me. <laughs> We're not very, just a few years, but like, you know. But if I said this, would you judge me? I get scared to say something I want to say because people often judge me from certain stuff. If it's going to be offenseful to someone, I would kind of just not say that because I just try to keep it like a peaceful area. But like, everyone's free to talk about what they want, but if it's going to trigger someone or upset someone, I would just rather not talk about it during stream. But otherwise, I mean, go for it. Sleep is for the week. And I am very weak. Oh, sleep. Yeah, sure. I'll just take a nap in the deathbed. Are we gonna take a nap in the deathbed? E to interact. Well, this is good, because I'm not good at this video game stuff if it's not on a controller. Don't. You're not great at making your mind up. Wake. Oh, what is that? What are the eyeballs? Eyeballs. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. For the third time, Hank. Uh oh, better see what's up. Oh my goodness. I love the sounds, I love the atmosphere. What can I touch in his room? So our name is Hank. Hank the bear, what's this? I can't do anything with this stuff. Oh, I can interact with this. I should turn my light off. Is that a picture of us? Look at it. It looks just like me. Okay, I need to stop. Where's, I'm assuming our mother. Our house is kinda destroyed. Whoa. I guess I can't go in any of these areas yet. Well, that's not my light to turn off. Whose seating is this? Is that a... Okay, I can't interact with anything but this. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in here. I guess this is our mama. Uh, I'm up, I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Oh, her name's Margaret? Oh, wait. It's the fact that I'm not just Nepali and I'm half Israeli. People judge me because of the war and think I support Israeli just because my papa was from there. Um, that doesn't have... Like, it... The thing is, they're judging you just because of, like, what you're born as, not your actual thoughts, beliefs, and actions. You know? And that's that's unfortunate like i kind of get a little frustrated when this is like so not really like it's not i never have had to deal with these issues myself kind of thing but like one time someone asked me like what i am and i'm also german and someone was like oh so you're nazi and i'm like what <laughs> like what does that have to do with it just because you're born from, like, a certain area doesn't mean that you also associate with a lot of stuff from that area and vice versa. Like, it could mean that, but it also doesn't mean that. So, you know what they say about when you assume, or when other people assume, it's not really the good stuff. And I'm not going to say the word because it's got a curse word, but you could get what I mean. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in just yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides. Besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Gee, thanks, Mom. I love Hank. I love Hank. I'm in love with Hank. You know what? I've decided. I love him. I love him so much. No, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, in her room with Will, probably. I should go wake him up. Alright, honey. The basics. 
I love this walking, this janky walking. I love it so much. Is, so this is mom's room, I'm guessing? What could I do here? I don't know any cooking recipes. Oh, I'm sure we will. All right, let's find our sibling room. I'm assuming those are siblings. I like the picture. What? Who are these? Good. Get out. Morning. Out. That's not very good morning of you guys. There's nothing good about being up this early. So that's Will. That's the voice I'm giving them for now. Hmm. I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell him a mile away. Delightful. Both of you. What's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes? Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. What did I tell you? I live for the hunt. I like these characters already, and they're drawn so cute. Like, this is such a style that I love so much. How come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster? We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here, let's, so let's go already. You're on his side now? It's morning, we're up, let's go do stuff. They warned me, betrayal never comes from your enemies. <laughs> I like these characters. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful this is. Whoa. Oh, there's mom. Hank, kids, over here. This area is spooky. Get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. Coming! People my age have TikTok curse gossip and stuff. I'm just here watching Octonauts. My sister still watches that. She loves that show. It's underrated. Six-year-olds fight me. <laughs> the style is beautiful, yes. So, adventure mode. In adventure mode, you can walk around, interact with things, and pick them up into your inventory. Your inventory is accessed through the adventure mode menu. It holds every item you find in the world. You can use filters or the organize button to sort through items magically. Or throw away whatever you don't need using the delete slot. The mini-map displays your current location, day, time, and allows you to navigate the world. Okay. I guess our friends ditched. Ooh, what's this? What is denim anyway? I'm guessing that's our laundry. Alright, let's follow the path. I don't want to go too far from the path. We don't want to get our bear friend lost. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> Me immediately. Can't read what it says. He is just a bear. He does not know it. He don't know it. I I have this thing recently. I've been watching a lot of cute animal videos with like Jack and Ella. And like every time I see one, I'm like, he don't even know. He literally has no clue what planet he's on. That's what I feel when I look at all the characters in this game. They are so cute. They don't even know. Like, what are we doing out here? <laughs> hey, Ma. <laughs> he's so cute. He definitely would be like one of those kids that stick up his finger and is like, Actually, my mom would say we can't go past the creek. He literally is that. So I'm trying to give him that voice of like the kid that has so many facts. But also the kid that's like, my mom lets me play Minecraft. Because I was one of those kids. So I'm really trying to portray myself onto Hank because I love bears. If I wasn't going to make myself a bunny, I was going to make myself a bear. I didn't think of a cute name enough. I don't know. Hey, Ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Mrs. M. Ma'am. <laughs> Will. Did you sleep alright? As good as ever. Good enough. He's got the tongue out. He's got it out. <gasps> He's so cute. Why, 
am I getting Stardew Valley vibes? It's giving, it's giving Stardew Valley vibes. It's, I don't know, it's like Monster Prom style. I don't know much about the company that made this game, but it's very new. It like was released this past week, not even long ago. So if there's bugs, I don't know. Um, but this game is beautiful already and I love it. Um, never seen Octonauts. It's like a quote unquote, I don't like to say kid show kind of thing, but it's like directed for kids and was made for kids. It's a kid show and it ex like tells you about wildlife in the ocean and stuff. That's very nice. How does the bear give a birth to- I'm assuming she adopted these to the like wolf I want to say and the bird that's like massive. Blue, if you have Netflix, you can probably just get it. I think you can watch, like, episodes on YouTube. I think they have it on YouTube for free. I know my sister and I watched it on Netflix not too long ago when she wasn't really doing too good, and we were like, oh, we'll watch this. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today is a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. All right. Point me to the hole. To Black Moss. What? What? I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good and I really need your help. Ah! <laughs> the bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. If it's not Nepali, then probably not. Oh yeah, that would make sense. My birthday's in three days. Happy almost birthday. But it doesn't have very nice humor, but I find it adorable how the octonauts look. Yeah, they look really cute. And my sister, um, she was obsessed with sea animals growing up. And that kind of show was so helpful to watch for her. It was so good. Hold on, I gotta fix my hair. It's freaking me out. I'm not going far. I literally can still read chat. Uh, but it's a cute game. Or a cute show. And they got this freaking little song. I think you can look it up on YouTube, though. Or just look up what it is. So, I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we go get to leave this stinking place. Hmm. Oh, that was rude. I mean, uh, adventure! Yay! Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here's what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. Whoa, we got Mom's notebook. The notebook times one. We got the B on it. It's a collectible. Find it in the collectible inventory. Awesome. But don't lose it again. I guess we've lost this before. Uh, I, I won't. I love his little face! Look at his little stinker! He's such a stinker. He will. He will. Alright, you three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, Ma. He's so cute! I, I like, just want to, like... That was me making a squish sound, but it made a fart sound. I apologize. <laughs> I can't. He's so cute. I didn't think I'd be able to to contain myself. Make sure you don't leave on an empty stomach. Too much food makes you sleepy. Too little just makes you dumb. Thanks, Mom. What is this? Odd looking fella. This is insane. I probably shouldn't wander far. But this, yeah, no past the fence, so we're fine. We should probably go get something to eat since of what Mom said. Right? Whoopsie, we got stuck behind this stump. What well, is a mushroom right there? A lot of them, actually. You're already drawing Hank? Look at him, he's just a little freaking fluff ball. Alright, you just got the notebook, which is a collectible item. 
Collectibles are special items that you unlock for your character that give you various perks. Oh, he's got a hat! He's got a hat. What a little man! He's so cute! You can find your current unlocked collectibles in the character screen. You can now access the quest log from the menu bar right there. It shows your current quests, allows you to track them, and find objectives using the arrows indicator. Quests which, lead will, quests which will lead you towards finishing the main story of the game will be flagged. Who are these? Oh my goodness. I love them. So we have to go to Black Maw through the thicket. So, to your surprise, Margaret has asked you to travel southeast. Southeast is that way. It has a little arrow for us. Do you have a picture of your new plush on your channel? I have to see. I have to see. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm just so excited about this game. <laughs> like, I'm so out of it. Alright, let's go back inside. Because Mom told us we should get something to eat. Do we have a kitchen? Seems like Mom's room was in the kitchen. I mean, that's a fridge over there. We can't interact with it. We don't know any cooking recipes, though. Mom told us to get food. There's nothing to freaking eat. I don't want to be dumb. She just told me I'd be dumb. Whatever. Alright, let's go. Let's roll, guys. Let's roll. Should we talk to our friends? Are our friends over there? Oh, I got stuck on the trees. Flightless birds don't know how good they have it. No one bothering them about not flying. I'm literally walking here. Walk in here. I hope I sniff out something good today. Alright, then let's go. We're going southeast. Never eat soggy waffles. That's what they taught me in schools. All right, here we go. Hee <laughs> hee. The three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before. I like my little dipper hat from Gravity Falls. <laughs> Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the Carly and dog, brave but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear. Cheerful and curious, but maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not going to wander too far into the adventurous fashion. I promise. <laughs> he's ex he's excited. Ugh, oh, we're in the spooky areas. All right, gang, spr spread out. <laughs> she beat him to it. All right, we can't. Oh, we have to navigate. I hope I sniff out something good today. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Something about a dog named Marley. I don't know if I fell asleep halfway through. Oh, if I click on them, they don't say the same thing. This is... Whoa. Uh-oh. Was tired just spelt wrong? What in the what? I heard it too. We'd better go. But we haven't found anything for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sound came from. That's not what I meant. No, it doesn't make you a simp. You're fine. I want to make sure the game's loud enough. Hold on one sec. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. 
and hopefully it's loud enough. Cool, I think it's loud enough now. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care, mom said straight back, so let's go. She also said to get some gator weed and we haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck? No, come back! <laughs> Hank's trying to be such a good kid and he can't. What's that? I wanna go over here. There's stuff. That's one big rock. Nothing here. Nothing here for my paws to grab. No, I want to go over here. Why can't I cross? No, they want me to go up here. I guess well, I'll just go. To Timber Crossing. Uh oh. Uh oh, guys. We're gonna get in trouble with Mom. We're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> I just got an achievement called the Little Rebel. Also, I put the French dub and cookie around and my muscle cookie screaming fiber protein stuff was really funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Investigate the loud noise. What is this? What? No, I just... Oh? I'm guessing I can build all these things? Ooh, what's this? I will pick things up. I am just a little guy grabbing stuff. All it's missing is a picnic basket. No, I'm gonna look down here first. I collected a valuable, guys. Am I literally just picking up garbage? And I'm like, yay, I love this. I will grab all this stuff. This is mine now. I didn't even ask. I asked no one. This is mine. Now that I have ransacked this house. Oh dang, day goes by fast. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. The strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. A little gray speaker box was strapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pawn Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it's who's boss. No, I died yesterday. <laughs> Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. Is someone in there? You there, fine gentleman. In the, uh, orange coat. I am pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver? Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. How exactly are you talking? Oh, he can't do a maths. He can't, he can't do it. He can't do the math. <laughs> Pawn Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your-friend corporation. What the? Offering secure, touristy, adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. You lost. 
lost me. I don't think he ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old useless priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we will give you a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for a vacation of a lifetime. Sorry, buddy. I don't have anything expensive or a heirloom. <laughs> He's so smart. You don't even know. What are the biggest brain? Pawn Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. <laughs> Why does it keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley. We will take on any location or premises. No matter how run down or decrepit. To offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait, for humans to live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. Let's see what you guys are saying. You died? No, no, no. Oh, hello. Not in the chat in a voice call. You're a comedian? Nice. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. <laughs> Hank don't even know what was just said. Like, look at his face. <laughs> Come on. I read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. If you or a friend of a friend <laughs> would like to offer your home or house to become a Pawn Voyage premium premises by restoring, repairing, redecorating, and bringing it up to a minimum standard, which Frankie... No one enforces. Frankly, I'm assuming they meant. If you forgot me, I'm Blue's Lover. Oh no, I could assume. But welcome. Hi, hi. And drastically, barely, alter your monthly income. Simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. We're not gonna touch it, right? I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure it wants us to give it money. Or wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. <laughs> All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans, I've barely seen one in months. And that's more than enough. Hello? Don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength? My foolproof understanding of all things. And spoil sports cheerful attitude. I am cheerful. I just don't care for him, that's all. We stand to make a buttload of cash. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. Human, back. Money, give, good. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> it's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark that we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned here anyway. Alright. <laughs> Within the adventure mode menu, you have two additional options. If you're not a fan of the dark, after midnight you can sleep until the following morning. That's so cute! This also advances time. And if you'd like to see inside of most buildings, you can lower the roof and walls. That's good. But don't we need to go back to mom? So I have to fix stuff up, I'm assuming. I'm in the spotlight. I'm in the bear in the spotlight. I think we picked up all the garbage we can pick up. Oh, no, we did not. Now I have more garbage. Did we even find what mom wanted? 
too busy picking up garbage. That's... I'm so good at it. I guess I'll tell him we're in. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. You walk away. I don't know, should we do it? I sniff out something good today. Okay, I'm assuming we're just gonna press the green button now. Hello again. Congratulations! You have been automatically entered into the standard legally binding agreement. By using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department, welcome to the family error unknown pattern. Oh, the name suits you. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first guest. Alright, who knows anything about human houses? Well, I used to look at pictures of the houses in the magazines we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easy. I think I know a thing or two that, about making a place cozy, and I do not get scared that easy. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind, besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Um, isn't our mom worried? You strike me as the real leave the gun, take the cannoli kind of guy. What does that even mean? Don't we have to return our stuff to mom? Did we just like run away? Preacher report. Preacher report. I used to freaking watch that show with Ella. I guess we are going this way. I don't wanna. I don't wanna make our our bear mom angry. She's so sweet and lovely. game is so beautiful. That's the biggest crack I've ever seen. Hee <laughs> hee. Ooh. More garbage. I'm assuming this garbage is going to be really helpful later. <laughs> I kind of don't want to go anywhere it's telling me to go. <laughs> I don't... What was that? Oh shoot, we probably should not interact with these people. Not me running up in the area. Ooh, we're getting good garbage, guys. Ooh, we're getting good garbage. <laughs> I have such a problem. I wonder where this big tree could fit. Ooh, more garbage. This looks like an area that people would probably be. I don't even know if I should be grabbing all this stuff. I'm assuming so. You know? Probably will save us a bit of time later. There's some other stuff on top. Ooh, we're running a little bit slow. Hope it's not laggy. Okay, it doesn't seem to be. We're good. Ooh. 
I'm assuming we don't want to be seen by people just yet. I know that this is like, we're making the Baron breakfast, but like, we gotta be careful. Bear can get hurt. You know? We don't want to get hurt. We don't want to upset the mom. I feel you on the leg thing. I get upset about mine too, but it's always a thing like where I personally am like, why not simply just punch the trees? Like personally, I'm like, ugh, I want to not have this on my body or this with my body and stuff. You can't, I guess you can change it eventually, but it's like, it's not going to happen overnight and it's nice to love yourself a little bit, you know, you like deserve it. I have a hard time with it do doing that myself. I can like hardly talk while playing this at the same time. I have a hard time doing that myself and it sounds kind of hypocritical coming from me, but it's like something we can all work on together, you know? A little goal, if you will. So I'm assuming the guy we need to talk to is this, I think he's a beaver. Let's go say hi. Hello, beaver. Tony. Mm, by God, a bear. It's just me, sir. Hank from the thicket. Hank from the thicket. I'm- I love him so much! He's so cute. Oh, goodness, you can talk? <laughs> I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? Oh, she's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We gotta- Help? Why didn't you just say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering- an oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would just love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's a shark in Timber Crossing. Oh, oh, a redwood plaque for your fish. He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh. Well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about, uh, building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you, of course, know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, knotty frames, perfect angles. Clearly, only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Whoa. Can you make all of that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you... Would you like me to teach you? Yes. Well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack and timber crossing. Oh. How wonderful. We'll need to get my back saw and mallet, a ladder, oh, and a couple of stacks of pine... Fetch those for me, will you? The bright yellow ones? They're all yellow. <laughs> Hard to blue just go to sleep with a demon scratching your shins. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta go find materials. Oh, whoops. Whoopies. Oh, we already got them. So, did you find all the wood? Uh, yep, got it right here. Grand, perfect, you're doing such a good job. Uh, thanks. I just picked it. I just picked it off the ground. Amazing. Now, I'm headed to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. <laughs> Look at his little walk. He's so freaking cute. You're gonna find out how to make Boo's cat fall asleep because you left him at your house. <laughs> good luck. Cats don't fall asleep that easy, if you want them to fall asleep, that is. We're gonna walk around a bit. I wanna walk around. Oop, we can't- I am not going over there. That is spooky dooky. Maybe we can run into that person again, though. Maybe we can talk to them. Maybe that'll be a good thing. Maybe it won't be bad. Oh, never mind. She looks like a camp counselor. I don't wanna freak her out. So we're not going to do that. I don't want to scare her. 
She's on the job. Alright. I feel you, Quizubo. Oh, we've missed some over here. But love and people come in all shapes and sizes, you know? Oh, it's like, are we not with them? Okay, here we are. Oh, there's more. I feel like, does it come back after a bit? Yes! Oh, that is wonderful. And we're gonna use this old shed. Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh, yes, this will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First, you'll have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. I think I can do that. Oh, we already did this. <laughs> did you clean up the shed? Yep. We did. Great! Now we'll have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. The table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it back together while I tidy up the place. Okay. Confirm. We built it! We can now use it to build furniture and stuff. Oh, I can't do anything. He's gotta do it. Did you get that workbench fixed? Like, brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. Uh, thanks. I love his walk. Oh, now he's in builder mode. Ooh, it seems fixed. Excuse me. It's his baby's first building was the achievement I just got. You have plenty of time to get better. Now, humans go over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on clean, soft, springy surface. Here, this is none of those things, but it will do. Ooh, okay, so we got some stuff. Go make one at the workbench. Let's go do that then. I keep getting caught and stuff. So... Eh, I'm not gonna read the tutorial. Let's just do it. <laughs> I can figure it out. Crafting? Um, we're gonna make a bed. Nope, just one. How do we- oh, I just assume we're pressing this. Cool! Nice. I didn't want to do that. Oh, we're building the bedroom. No. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> we're gonna build a bedroom. to the bed. Okay, the price of Asian parents is... Wait, what? I don't know 
what you just said. <laughs> so we don't have anything here. We just have the crafting stuff right now. We do have an old computer, which is for a quest. We have 69 stuff. How do we save what we did? Oh, we just press this. So it costs us 250 to make this room with a door and bed. It's called the Dinky Shed. Alright, cool. So we're using the- we crafted the bed. Um, I already did it. You can make a bed using the workbench. Come back when you- Is that not what I made? But I made this. Um, did it just want me to make this? Was I not supposed to put it in the room? <laughs> no, I was not. It's fine, now we have two shabby bed. Were you able to make that bed? Yep, got it right here. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematics, but here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent, you're doing so well. Better than mine back at home. That's just sad. Well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. I already did this. I already did this. Okay, good. I don't have to do it again, because I don't have money for that. So, were you able to make that bedroom? Yes, sir. Stains and all. What? <laughs> stains! What stains? Yes, sir. Stains and all. <laughs> Brilliant. I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage it. You encourage weird. <laughs> yeah, he does. You would say the cat's name, but the cat's name is also Blue's name, and I don't know if Blue wants me to use his name. I hope everything's alright, Raj. Or, I think it's Raj. I hope everything's okay. <laughs> All right now, this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority by having someone around that they can look down on. But you sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're gonna need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table in front of the house that tells them where to go and a little black book to keep the records for the shark. Ah, uh, yes, here's how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. Oh, a reception desk. After you've made it, just put it down in the shed, and then it's time to rake in the dough. I didn't know it was so late for you guys. Alright, so we gotta make... How do we build it? Oh, right there. Cool. Oh, okay, so we can just place it down this time. Now I don't need to have two. We have to place it in the dinky shed. Uh, we're going to put it right here. I want it to be even, but it's not. Put it right there. Yes, that sounds good to me. Um, gee, wait, bro, no, my, my parents, they aren't shouting. Uh. Okay, I hope everything's alright. Did you place that front desk? Yep, it's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. Are they even going to like it? You sure know how to take a compliment. 
<laughs> this game is so cute. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you, thank you. S sorry. Go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell him we got his joint ready. Hmm, he thinks we don't, but okay. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab our... Oh, I can't read that. Hello, we'd like to have some humans over. <laughs> He's so cute. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate, unfortunate on Silver Valley. People. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in our neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff the animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic, if you asked Hank. All he knew for sure was that his mom always said, keep your distance. So much for that. Congratulations, your property's on the network. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through the front desk and give them the experiences experience of a lifetime. Okay. Well, let's go do some guest management. Mm, we're gonna need to fix that stuff soon. What do we gotta do here? What do we gotta do? Guest request. Tilly Donovan. Yeah, we'll assign them. Alright, cool. All this stuff is important, but I'm not gonna be able to read this. Did we finish? We gotta go tell the shark. Nothing to- Oh, I can't read that anymore. They got a human on the way. Congratulations, you are now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial ruin. But you have a head start. And that probably means something. <laughs> In any case, make sure you keep up with the guest demands, and they tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Mm, okay. Oh wait, do I have to talk to them again? Uh oh, alert, alert. It looks like your premium property is lacking an old P department. Hey, I don't... Prestige! Wow. That means that the decoration level of your property are not up to our low, low standards. It is ugly. That's so me, but it looks just like my room. In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your properties more appealing by adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. Trinkets. It's okay to talk to yourself. I do it all the time. That's not a bad thing. Quizabo, that's not a bad thing. Some people do think it is, but I talk to myself on the occasion. When I'm doing stuff. What an uncomfortable sentence. Raise the property prestige level to, to satisfying degree before returning. Um, okay. How do I build? I just fix this stuff? Uh, I don't know. I don't do a knowing. Do I have anything else I could build? No. You know what? I'm gonna put the other bed in there. No, I'm not. I'm gonna hold on to it. Hmm. Maybe if I talk to them? It's just me, your local Wood Samaritan. Uh, I guess not. So let's read the hints. Hmm. What? What's the 
ding ding. Oh, they're here. Welcome. Oh no, they're scared of me. Oh. Uh. They seem to be content ish. And now scared that a bear is outside. How do I improve the home? Okay, let's go look around in the woods to find something. Can I just like find blueprints? Oh. Oh. Hmm. I want this. Oh, I cannot have this. I will now take it. Goodbye. I'm not trying to scare you, lady. Or person, I will say, because I don't know your pronouns. Okay, so... How do I do this? I'm gonna go to the beaver. And talk to them. No, I need you to tell me how to read. How do it? Do I hand it to him? Was I not supposed to pick this stuff up? How do I learn a recipe? I, I want a hat. I'll figure this out guys. I'll figure it out. Was I not supposed to buy those? Me thinks I was not. Okay, have a good night, or good day. Sleepy well. Hmm. How do I add this? Oh, I can go to the thing? Wait, okay, okay. go here they leave in two days hmm. I don't understand but it is telling me to go somewhere so I will go there you gotta be very careful about crossing a road Whoa, I didn't even think to cross the road. I don't know why. I just wanted to be safe, I guess. I don't think I could handle bus life. <laughs> Oliver? Oh, well, hello there, bud. Aren't you a good looking one? Haven't seen your likes around my buses before. <laughs> We're gonna say we like his hair. It just goes into the mustache. soft bear noises. <laughs> oh, what a kind looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the buses here if that was not evident. Ha! Huh, look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you... Do you take the bus? Mm, I've been in a tractor before. Bear noises. I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid, bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send. But I can't just leave my buses. And there's not any been any post since, well, in years. You probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to Sawdust? And give this to Beanie for me. Awesome. She usually hangs by the fire watch tower. Oh, that's probably the person we saw. We could do that. No problemo. What is this? I can't open this yet. Ooh, but we can take this garbage. Erm, um, bear. Yeah, Jack, we're playing the bear game. 
I'm very excited. This is my kind of game, as you know. What is this? Oh, I'm taking his things. Ooh, Oliver, are you okay with that? I'm gonna take this couch, Oliver. Bye. <laughs> Hello, buddy. That's I. That's a guy on TikTok who does like cooking. I think. I forget, but I know him, and I like. I like it. I like his voice, and it's very comforting. So I'm trying to do that for some of the character. Can I go in here? I can. Hello, buddy. We're gonna take all this garbage. Because we're gonna need this, I'm assuming. Oh, we're gonna take this garbage too! Nobody even needs this gar- who's- what is this? I can't open this yet. That's took. Whoa there, big fella! Where did you come from? I live here. Where did you come from? Alright, enough with the questions! <laughs> what are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash junk muck. I'm looking for something humans like. Something that would make them feel more distinguished. Slap, scrap, rubble. No, I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong, my colossal companion. I got what you need. You've stumbled upon the most handsome curator of crap this side of the valley has. There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Great, let me just have a look in that dumpster. Not so fast, bozo. How do I know I can trust you? My, um, authoritative height? Be that it is May, we don't trade with just anyone off my street. My head would be in a gutter before noon. Although I do spend a lot of time down there. But you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what. There's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Find me a snack, then we can talk. Now we gotta find a sandwich. Oh boy. Sandwich. Alright, let's go, let's go ask, I think it's Oliver? Let's go ask Oliver for a sandwich. Oliver, I need your sandwich, please. Oh. Can I really just take this? I can just take that. Can I take this? What is this? No? Alright, we got the sandwich. So, did you find any grub? Mm, yeah, right here. Yeah, right here. How is the game so far? The game's awesome. It's so cute. I'm getting the hang of it. I'm a little slow. But this is definitely a game we're going to continue playing. And I will be playing this on my own free time. In a separate save file. Because they do have save files. So, Stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard. That's all I could find. Mm, just like mom used to make. And all the characters are so lovable, Jack. Oh my god, the bear is literally like droop, but like, actually? And he's so stinky. Oh my god, I love him. His name's Hank. All the characters are really lovable so far. Alright, you brutish charmer. I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. So, I should buy it? Yes. I think it was worth it. And I will, like, I can see myself replaying the game, you know? If they give a skip tutorial thing, too, that would be awesome. But, like, once I get the hang of it, yeah. And here, I'll even let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of the stinking human stuff. I mean real valuables. Alright, cool. Now we get garbage. Oh, we get it by picking up this stuff. Um... I want this. We're gonna get that. A welcome mat, definitely. A rug. That would be good. Mm. We'll get the drawers. We'll get two of those. I'll 
get a floor mirror. Small nightstand. And we'll get two of the cupboards. I think that'll be good. A wall lamp. Two of them, maybe. And a bear painting. I think this is a good idea. Hello, lady. We're gonna go put your stuff in your house. Oops. I got caught on the wall. They just leave garbage around? Oh, yeah. The people like to leave garbage. So we can put stuff around that. With, like... We can use the garbage to get the stuff from to 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 yes yeah the garbage the stink the stinky human leave it so we're gonna uh, put stuff out I like this so far this is really nice. Now we're gonna put the nightstand right here. We're gonna put this wall lamp in the bedroom as well. So it can be used. Oh, I like this. This is so cozy. What the freak? Oh, okay. I like that. Okay. That's a quest item. I don't want to put that too far anywhere kind of annoyed we bought these uh, two things because I didn't think about it. Is it okay to add a window? Can I just do that for free? Do I have to pay for it? No? Okay. Cool. Now we definitely got some swag in that house. Sometimes I question if my face is actually what my face looks like. Yeah, I feel you. You're definitely gonna like the new place now. We're gonna need this. I'm sure they'll need the bathroom sooner or later. Oh, they went to sleep. Should we, like, return home to mom? Like, do we ever go back? Property prestige is the principal proof of a point prominent plot. It looks a little better now, I think. Congratulations! You've increased your property's value by a quarter of a percent. That's two, 278 percent more than our guests receive on their average trip. More prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the good work. Well, let's go give Beanie the envelope. Yeah, I think, like, this kind of stuff comes back and just, like, shows up. This is interesting. I like this. I hope you guys are liking it too. How long have we been streaming for? I'm just gonna check. I do have to get Ella later. Probably we'll have to get dinner. But, yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's stuff we could build. But I'm sure Beanie is up here. I think they said Beanie. Is that her name? Their name? I keep doing that. Oh, they're probably sleeping. What is this? Oh. Here, this is the fire watch tower over here, I'm assuming. Oh, whoops. I climbed all the way up here. believe we've met yet. How did you end up here? With my feetsies. <laughs> We're saying that one. Good. F 
physical activity is always a great idea. Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah, well, then what am I saying right now? Actual literal bear noises. <laughs> that was pretty un unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. Now I feel bad, I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> I'm just yoking ya. What's a, what a big softy doing like you all the way out here? Or up here. I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's a, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Or Sa Sabine, if you're my mom. But I like, um, Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the bus person. He gave me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie, such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe he found it. Ollie, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel. Though I understand the resemblance. No, no, he found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. He had barely gotten his driver's license, and I had a much smaller hat. We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where all where to put the stations for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in the fire. I didn't know that fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. We got compass. Here, you have this. It'll help you find your way back faster. Being afraid of heights just means you haven't seen everything that's down there yet. I really like that character very much so. And I am now obsessed with her. So this is good. So I actually want to go back and visit the mother. Because I feel like we should do that. Because she's probably scared that three of her children, essentially, ran off. I'd be a little upset and scared. Oh wait, I can't go around that. This game is very lovely though, I have to say. A buggy? Am I hearing like birds? Hmm. How many things I don't know? Alright, let's go back to Oliver and give this in Timber Crossing. And then we're gonna check on the mom. This game auto saves. That's cool. I really like the style. It's just so pretty. Our mom always said to go out and just get her some specific thing that we didn't even grab. Did we look both ways? No, that's so dangerous. Oh my gosh. What is he doing? Back already, bud. Did you find Beanie? Did you give her the letter? Yes, I did. Oh, you're the man, bud. Oh, bear. Or bear. Sorry. So, what did she say? She gave me this for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bud. She found the rest of it. That's incredible, bud. Oh, drawing all this out with her was the most fun I ever had. Short of driving a bus, of course. Of course. Look, there's sawdust and high lake, and look, this is where we are. Oh, uh, probably don't even know what I'm talking, what I'm on about. This valley is huge. The place is a bus I couldn't even reach. I know, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while, just me and my buses. But it doesn't feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know? No one's really needed me or my buses in a long time, but with all of the new folks starting to visit and all, I think you should have this and look, look, see where there's an old bus stop are? If you manage to fix these up like you did with the old storage shed, I'll give your bu you bus rides for free. Heck, I don't think bears have any pockets for money anyway. Oh, we got two bus signs. That's good. Look, the first one is right there next to the shed. How about it? Huh. 
Probably will get more customers doing that. That seems like a good idea. Wi-Fi trucks, pets okay. <laughs> oh, there's wood down here. I've got new stay requests. We don't even have a big enough room. Should I make another bedroom? <laughs> Maybe I should. Hmm. Alright, we fixed up the bus station. We can fast travel there now. We should go talk to the mom though. I did say I wanted to do that, and I forgore. We'll go talk to everyone momentarily. I did want to say hi to our mom. That's important. Don't know what she wanted. Like, genuinely don't remember it. We should go tell her we're alive, though. Right? That feels like we should. I don't want her to get mad. You know? You're running low on pocket money. Oh, my little baby, I knew this day would finally come. A day I would feel useful as a parent again. Well, I can help you out, but you have to promise to be more careful next time, alright? Here you go, honey. Mom, you did not have to do that. What? Mom. That's nice. I guess she's not worried? I guess not. It's weird, but alright. Alright, then I guess we'll go return to what we're doing if this is not important. Alright, Mom. Make sure you don't leave on an empty stomach. Oh, okay. Oh, we need tools to unlock this area. Okay, so I guess we'll just continue with our missions for now. I thought we'd have more to do up here. Sorry, guys. Ooh. I don't know how we're gonna get across there to get Mom her stuff yet. We got some more wood. We're on day five. I guess we gotta tell Oliver we fixed up the buses. Oliver, wake up! Did you get that bus stop fixed? Yes, I did. Approving bear noises. That's great news, bud. Oliver seems like a friendly, easygoing softy. One of the few people that stuck around the valley. Took, on the other hand, was a crooked critter with a taste for stolen baloney. A strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. 
That's great news, bud. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, anytime you come across the, one of these stops, just give it a wash, slap a new sign on it. Oh, now we have his toolbox. And boom, I'll drive you there anytime. Thanks. Ooh, okay, so we can buy these tools and buy bus signs. That's important to know. I did not know that. Cool, 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 cool. Does Took have any new garbage for us? How come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the dump all the time, dumpster diving. Oh really? Didn't take you for a criminal. Uh, hi, welcome back. No, no, it's not like that. My buddy Will always makes me go. And it was only magazines and pamphlets. No bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna snitch if you ain't. Besides, haven't seen a lick of new humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that ran around after that big inferno. What are y'all talking about? Uh, not much, to be honest. I'm just kind of playing the game. Yeah, we used to never be allowed past the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyways, humans coming back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you pull it off. And probably make a few folk pissy in the process. Listen, I get plenty of demand, so my business resolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. And especially slim pickings if we don't get any of the rich looking kind. They dump the best junk. I'll tell you what, since you're fixing up the old shed for them, how about will you do the same for the kiosk up here? They used to flock around that place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me, I'm the raccoons. An annoying person who found the internet. Welcome! Sup? I'm just getting the hang of it. This sounds a lot more complicated. Oh wait, whoops, I read that in Took's voice. Nah, this is one and done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep them distracted. The beaver will know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what kind of goods we'll have in the shop. Alright, so we'll fix up the shop for them. People don't seem to value what they throw away until you point it out to them. Yes, that is true. Refurbished shops, I think, are so cool in thrift stores. And then charge them extra. Alright, we already have... That's Took's Garbage. We don't need any more Took's Garbage. I also didn't go too far up either. So we're gonna go upward. Let's go up. I don't know how far we'll get, but might as well look. You know? Alright, nothing crazy up here. There's more stuff on the road. Okay. Maybe we'll make another room. I think that would be a smart idea. Um, let's put this stuff away for now. And we'll make another bedroom. Are you a bear? I love bears. Yeah, in the game we're a bear. It's so cool. Oh, wait, whoops. I didn't realize this room had a size issue. Uh, okay, let's change this. Okay, we're gonna redo it. I didn't realize we don't have enough monies. 
We'll do another room soon. How about that? Right now, we're just gonna progress. Hello again, my child. I mean, oh, my favorite apprentice. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, look, I have it on very good authority that the kiosk up there is our next best shot at getting more humans to come. Oh, you do, do you? And what a authority is that exactly? Um, well... Oh, marvelous! The old travel kiosk was the jewel at the timber crossing. It was one of the first things the humans built here. Oh, so kind of like pyramids. No. You'll actually find it's more of a rectangular parallel piped. That took me a sec. <laughs> a rectangular what? You're on break? Nice, Jack. Ooh. Ooh, my arm hurts. I hope work's going all right, dude. So I think we should spruce it up like we did with the shed. And that will attract more humans to get us even more money. Right, Well, Right. I still want to know how you came up with all that. Oh, it's a brilliant idea. As usual, my son, student, uh, yes, that's what I said. Actually? <laughs> Real nice, Jack. I take it back. You don't actually have to get used to it. Well, let's just get started right away. Go in there and clear the place out of all the rubble, and then we'll get to building. I already did that, though. So, all clean? Hmm, basically sparkling. Yep, almost sparkling. Also, there is someone else, kind of like Meowba, but they abuse animals for no reason. Uh, that's not good. That's bad. Wonderful. Now, if you remember everything correctly, there are a few things the humans look for in the kiosk. I can make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get them just right. There's a few oddities I'd need to get it all together. I'd need a bit of human literature. I've got a book back home we could use. There's also an old computer sitting under the tower in sawdust. I did pick that up. Oh, and some sort of writing apparatus. I think the bus driver might have it on one of his little bus shack. I got that too. Great, treasure on. Take your time. It'll put together everything else in the meantime. I already did this. I have to get the book from the sp uh, on spelling from the thicket. So we have to go back to the house anyway. Joe. Joe, Joe, Joe. Cup of Joe. Jack, what time do you get out of work? This is a spooky area to go at night. I just want to get to all this stuff. But I cannot yet. You're just pro doing everything. I know, I got everything minus the one thing. I just kind of keep picking garbage up when I see it. I like the, the way this game works though so far. Which is really good. I like the music. Very, like, aesthetically pleasing and, like, very ambient. I like it. I love the mom, too. I'm, like, obsessed with her. <laughs> That's their pet. That's so cute. They have such a cute room. Oh, I can turn off their light. Alright, I'm assuming their book is this. There we go. Yeah, we'll stack of books. I like the dog bed and the birdie bed. That's <laughs> so cute. Alright, let's go back to... You do, You think 8.30? Alright. I have to pick up Ella around 8. I'm assuming I'm picking her up. Might have to end stream sometime soon, I don't know, because of dinner kind of time. But I do want to pick this game up, like, much further. <laughs> and I'll stream it as soon as possible. I might be a bit busy tomorrow, but I could try tomorrow night. 
I want to stream again a bit before, like, I have to take breaks and stuff, and I'm trying to come back. It's just kind of difficult right now because a lot of stuff's going on. I'm trying to time everything right so I can do stuff. So, you know, you're back. Welcome back. Jack, how's your break going? How's your break? How's work going? Wish we could put, like, lights everywhere. All right, well, we got the stuff. Uh, Buds for Buddies. Their name is Joe. I don't really know exactly what you're talking about. If it's a bad person, I probably don't know who they are. I haven't heard of Buds for Buddies. But yeah, were you able to find everything? And work's going okay? That's good. But when I finished the fan art already and posted it. Oh my gosh, where? I, I need to see it. Oh my goodness! How come I never got tagged in this? Or like it didn't tell me. That's so sweet! Thank you! Oh my gosh! I didn't even know you were making this! Or I feel like I did. But I'm just like, really not the smartest. Oh my god, that's amazing! Thank you! Oh my gosh, thanks! That's so sweet! You guys should definitely go check it- check uh, the fan art out. It's on their channel, Quizzy Bo's channel. And it's one of the first videos that they have up there right now. Or at least on my phone, that's what came up first. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Ah! That's so nice! It took a while, but uh, here you go. It didn't take my character a while long enough to go get the book. Oh, yes, yes. This is everything I need. Oh, he's gonna go build. We're gonna go build with him! Yeah, it won't take long. There's Took up there. I told you, but it was like in June. Oh no, I do remember this. I'm sorry. I do- He built all that in seconds? Oh my gosh. But thank you. I really do appreciate it. It's very sweet and I really- I love it. Oh my gosh. You should, um, you should- If you're in the Discord, you should send- You are in the Discord, right? I feel like you are. I know your name is in there. I've been, like, taking a break and I swear I forget everything. Maybe your name is a bit different in Discord, but I feel like I've seen you there before. But if you are in there, you should definitely send it there. I'd love to see it, uh, in a still. I'm gonna tell Took that we fixed it up. Is the kiosk ready? Yeah, it's ready. I never thought I'd say this. Ligoria. Excuse me? Yeah, it was a 38 across in the one... In the 1982 crossword semis. I found it in the dumpster the other day. That's gross. No, you're thinking of the other thing. Found that too. Anyway, you did a... You did good, kid. There'll be more stuff for you to buy at the dumpster now. Oh, and... I'm putting in a good word with the big cheese. Who's the big cheese? Oh, you're not allowed to have Discord? Okay. Alright, Hank, my boy. I've done about all I can for this place. I think you've got a good start here. Although there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. Thanks, Tony. I'll be back in my mill if you ever need me. Oh, and say hello to your mother for me. I'll tell her to drop by sometime. Yeah, uh, don't say your age if you're too young, please. But thank you, uh, for... Yeah. Yeah, who has the cheese? We can now visit Took Shop. <laughs> Hank, Hank, where are you? Oh, is the person leaving? Oh, they got scared. 
Hank, where have you been? I've been sniffing all over. Well, I met Tony and he taught me how to find some lumber and then we made a bed for humans and where did you find all the alligator weed? Oh, no, we didn't find any of that. Just pine and plywood. Any minute now. But we also had to use some cotton and... Hank? Yes? Mom! There it is. We did go back to Mom, though. <laughs> I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, we have to go home. Uh, I thought we were going to be doing that. We took five days away from home. Well, I want to go look at the shop since we already took this long. You know? I want to see what's up for the grabs. Like, look at this. We're fixing the area up. Look at all this garbage. Oh, we need to get this possum clock. I'm grabbing that. And I'm grabbing that. Oh, we don't have enough. Whoops. I don't even read. I am obsessed with this. This is going to become an addiction, guys. I love the bear paint. Okay, we're not gonna buy any more. We're just gonna keep going home. Does he have a little run button? Nah, he's he's got he's got speed. Oh wait, did they check out? Should we have someone else stay here? Yeah, I'll have someone else stay here while we go do stuff. We have to talk to Margaret, which is mom. Because we forgot when we went on our little expedition. We got a little sidetracked for a few days. I did go visit her, but she was like, here's some more money. Um, which was a bit odd. Because I thought we should go back. Because I was a little nervous. But I guess we messed up anyway and we have to go back. We didn't lose the book, though, that she said we'd lose. Unless I suddenly just lost it now without being told. But, we're headed back. This is such a beautiful game. Mom's gonna be, Hank, kids! Uh-oh. Hank, where have you been? My goodness gracious. Are you alright? Did something happen? I'm okay, Mom. Nothing happened. Alright, good. What was in that thick head of yours and you? I didn't even say anything. You put him up to this again, didn't you? No, Mom. Will didn't do anything. We weren't even gone that long. It's been days! <laughs> Humans are coming back. And another thing. They're... They're what? And we're helping. I, I see. Well, I don't suppose anything's wrong with that. We're gonna get more to visit, and they'll bring money and trash, and we'll learn to... We'll get to learn all about them, and... And... And I get to make stuff for them. Me, Tony taught me how to build a bed and I haven't heard from him in ages. Well, I suppose there was nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. Don't say that, Mom. I'm not going anywhere. I just... It feels nice to do something out there for a change. Something helpful. I know it does, dear. For now, at least. You're all probably exhausted. You should go rest. Yeah, we gotta check on our humans. Mom gave me a hat? Alright, dear. And at least don't forget your hat next time. In case it rains. Now get some rest. Mom gave me a hat! Who's this? Oh, don't get up for me. I can see just fine from here. What? Let's just say you made the right impressions to the right people, pal. That's not true. I did no such thing. 
Relax, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Oh, it is? The oversized rat did say the size doesn't scale everywhere. Listen, you made quite an impact on my trash-talking associate. Oh, this is the big cheese! Guys, this is the big cheese. Which is rare. In case you feel like keeping that up, the way to the old road's been cleared. If you happen to make your way down there, come find me at the dump. Uh, why would I do that? Because I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Or, I don't know. I guess you could refuse it, but it's, it's a pretty good offer. Do what you want, I don't care. Cool. That was weird. Okay, so now we can do something with that guy. Huh. Well, I want to put my hat on. Where's our hat? That goes in the hat spot. Hank. Hank with the hat. Hank with the hat. Hank with the hat. Now we got a hat. We should go to bed. We should go to bed. We can't go to bed. Bob. Where's Bob? Alright, Mom. Ma. I love Hank. He's such a cute character. I want to make cookies. Itchy fur just means more friends to hang out with. No, Annie. Annie, that's not what that means. That means you have fleas. Okay, I guess we can- can we continue? Do I have to go to bed? Is it midnight? What time is it? How do I get in the bed? Oh, I press this. It is night. Is it morning now? Okay. Hmm. Well, I can't stay still, so we're going back. Oh, Will's outside. The reason all the jokes about Mondays are so terrible is because only people only think of them on a Monday. I mean, I guess. Let's look at our quest. There's only one right now? Okay. Well, we should put down some of this new garbage. Right? Me thinks. Me thinks it. We didn't even get the stuff for mom. And she looked really upset. I hope everything's alright with mom. She's a cool character. So it says we can enter the A24. I'm assuming that's like the either the up area or down. This area is like expansive. Oh, who's this? Who is this lady? Barbara, she's so cute! Oh, who's there? Why, this is quite unexpected. My, you're a big fella, aren't you? You don't seem very frightening. <laughs> Look at him with his little hat. That's alright. You're not the first critter I meet around these parts. Don't be afraid. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Well, it's not. It's quite nice to meet you too, dear. I'm Barbara. I've been the keeper of these woods ever since I could tell a... Joppy Joffrey from a blue shag. Do you know where you are? I've lived here all my life. Oh, of course you don't. You're not from around here, I would have known. Well, we're in Timber Crossing, one of the largest lumber hubs this side of the valley. 
Or well, it used to be. Barely a soul sets foot in this place anymore, although. Lately, I've noticed quite a few more souls than usual. Almost like something's drawing people back. And then I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we got. Did you have a hand in that? I built it with my own two paws. No, nah, we're gonna say I might have to put a few things together. We did it. I never thought I'd see another person visit our little valley, let alone tourists. I have to say, that's quite the accomplishment to do on your own. Hope I'll see you more of your handiwork soon. So she likes what we're doing. That's good. Where is she from, though? Like, I want to see where she is so we, I can go say hi to her sometimes. <laughs> sometimes me thinks. Um, is there more garbage to pick up anywhere? They don't want garbage all over the floor. Oh. C opens up. Yeah, C opens up the character stuff. Okay, that's cool. They're called valuables, which I also find really funny. I don't even know what to do with these blueprints. I can't believe I bought those so early when I don't need them. the A24. This is by a dump. Do I see a motel? We're on the A24. What's all this stuff? What is this? Oh, I thought that was a cave. Oh. Ooh, we got rubbles. Do we have too much stuff? No. There we go. I want to pick up as much garbage as we can. More area for more garbage. Nice. What is that? Sparkly, sparkly. Well, this is a good area to come for, like, what? Stones? Ooh, what's all this? Look at this stuff, guys. Games where you can collect garbage and that's a treasure. Beautiful. Oh, there she is. She lives, she's like down here. I don't know if I'm going too fast through this. I don't know how this is supposed to be paced either. I'm just kind of grabbing everything. And then it happens to be that it's like I already got what's needed for the next thing. What's this? Oh, I'm taking that. Freaking otter clock. Who is this? Who's this? Bella. Bella. Oh my goodness. Gus! When you're a kid, you cry because people tell you what to do. When you grow up, you cry because people don't tell you what to do. I just don't do anything anymore. It's worked out so far. I like Gus. There ain't a smell in the world that can disgust me. I see you're already trying to prove me wrong. Oh. Dude literally just called us stinky. We're taking that from you. I don't know what it is. I'm taking it. It's mine now. Hmm. Any garbages? That's a big heap of garbage. The biker gear. What? Definitely not the way to go. I keep getting stuck on stuff. It's gonna be picking up all this stuff. I'm assuming we're gonna need it. Uh, yeah, I'll build this. I 
can build a house out of this now. What is this? Motel sign. Tony's construction service. No available instructions. Uh, we'll just pick up the garbage in it for now. I'm sure that will become important later on. So we'll just pick up this stuff. We want to clean the areas. We don't want it to be hazardous. I look like a guillotine for a second. Oh, this music is so good. This is such a cute game. Oh my gosh. Okay, right, so this is gonna be a motel when we fix it up? Or construction service? Whatever, that's so cool. There's another garbage here. For some people, growing older doesn't come with getting smarter. I want what they have. Oh, we can get another... There's another garbage here. Nope. No buying right now. Hey, now we're just cleaning. Cleaning, walking around. I'm guessing this was a grocery store? I haven't seen the actual junkyard yet, which I'm assuming will have so much garbage for us to grab. Which is always good for a dude like us. This game, I love this game. And I'm gonna keep saying it. I literally am obsessed with this right now. And I will be for the next however long that I am obsessed with this. This is insane. Alright, we're not gonna do this right here. Nope. I just said no. I keep pressing E when I don't want to. Okay, I'm assuming this is near the junkyard. We're just gonna start picking up garbage that I can pick up though. Oh my gosh, the sounds. It's just, it's so nice. Oh, I wanna go down here first see all the sights to see, am I right? Which is literally just me picking up garbage. <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong things. I guess we're going to be getting ourselves access to... Well, we have someone staying now. Did we even get paid for that? We did! We got paid a 400 freaking stuff. Looks like a great place to hide a body. Hey! Hey, honey. That's not something we should be saying. Okay. Well, now we're in this dude's house. Can't steal any of his stuff, but I will steal from this garbage can out here. Yeah, seems good to me. Okay, we got enough garbage. I am the garbage collector. Not there either. He either skipped town again or is lining a ditch somewhere. Or why lying in a ditch maybe? That boy couldn't tell tells his tail hole from his mouth hole, but he wouldn't bail, not on us. Oh, uh, ten o'clock, Chief. What a surprise. Our hefty entrepreneur. Is there a problem, boss? No. Not yet, anyway. How'd you find the trip, Hank? I think I told you my- I don't think I told you my name. <laughs> I can't. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. I don't think she knew, sir. Mom didn't name me. The air really is thinner up there, ain't it? Is he calling me stupid? Sure is. I didn't catch your name. That's because I didn't throw it around. It's on a need to know basis. Need to know basis. Well, I kind of need to know. You won't get far with that attitude, kid. Anyway, I'm Anton. I run the place. What place? Ha! What place? This place! Everything the stench touches. Listen, you haven't earned all these questions yet. 
My collaborator up north says you're up to something good, bringing people back up into the valley. That's good news for everyone, but we got a problem. One of my crew went missing three nights ago. Claire went, we'll fill you in. We lost weight at approximately 9 p.m. near the Black Moss border. We were out doing our scavenge runs. I was negotiating a particularly heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turned around and there was no weight. Just the low hiss of the swamp. You have any idea what happened to him? No. But you will. I'll make you a deal. You need me and my dump to get your little venture up and running. Otherwise, you'll run around for scraps and die of old age before your first customer sets foot in the place. I'll let you keep any scrap you find here if you get us way back. We suspect he's somewhere in Black Moss. That's where I'd check first. I love the characters. They're so cute. I wouldn't be sitting around if I were you. We literally already have had our first customer. Like, oh, we can go to Black Moss from this area. We can do it from this area and get to the other side. That's cool. I was like, do we have to build a bridge? Then I have to wait to get all the garbage. That's really annoying. Plus, I want to get Mom the thing she needed. You know? A charcoal lily? What is that? I don't know. Run out of room eventually. Okay. Well, we gotta find Wade. Dude, there's like a whole freaking house. First off, I want to get this. There's a witch in the game? again I swear on my tail what happened to this time stuck a hand down a drain pipe bad mushrooms heard a noise coming from the trees oh no I was just looking cuz I hate to break it to you all trees make noise that's pretty much all they do and they sure as hell ain't doing it for you I'm, I'm sorry to bother you ma'am I I'm just looking for a friend a friend here happy hour ain't what it used to be He's pretty small. I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small. How small are we talking? Because small things don't last a long time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. Oh gosh, no. It's a rat. His name is Wade. Oh cricket. Someone came looking for that thing? You should be paying me rent. Yeah, I know where your Wade is. Unfortunately. Come inside. In inside? Oh, don't go all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyway. <laughs> I love this lady! I don't know what, like, voices to give characters, so I'm trying my best. Charlotte is her name. But who is that? Here we go. And then just before the tire hit, boss pulled up his old cane and smacked it out of the way. Oh, golly. And then what happened? We got the pieces scrammed. Wow. And what's was that like? The, the thing? Oh, you mean the little old artifact that yours truly sniffed out in less than one hour? Only just about the roost, rustiest. I said rudiest. Rustiest, catalyst, mystic uh, comforter you've ever seen. Whoa. It stank too real bad. We think a cockroach lived in there before we found it. Whoa! Wait, what did I say about liaison with the criminal? Criminal where? Yes, um, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. I love Twig. Besides, we have a guest. A rather unusual one at that. Wait, are you Wade? Hello. I mean, no, I am not. 
Oh, yes, he is. A festering, nosy pest that can't keep his tail out of other people's business. I was prepping him for pickling, if you need to know. His tiny bones make great feather holders. No, you were not. You just said you didn't know how to get rid of him. Shush, child. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Who wants to know? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talk to Mr. Ray? Well, more like slightly preoccupied. I can't believe you sent someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back and he let me use the dump. So I can get more humans in the valley. He never lets anyone out, any outsiders in the dump. You must be something special, mister. Well, let's not get too hasty, Mr. Special. The rat isn't leaving this place just like that. But you... But she just said you wanted him gone. Of course I do, but now you want to take him. So there's value of circumstance. I ran out of charcoal lilies for my pickle juice. You won't find them anywhere else but black moss. Or maybe the bird brain in A24 has some for sale. He just gets them here anyway. Bring me back a few and I'll see about jailbreaking your new friend. Okay. Oh, we're zoomed in. How many does she need? How do I zoom out? How do I zoom out in the game? What? We're stuck. That opens my inventory. That's the map. I can't make this smaller. Um, okay. I guess we're just playing like this now. Oh, that's water. Well, this sucks. I can't see anything. <laughs> she wants seven charcoal lilies? Oh, boy. I only had two. Oh, my goodness. No. Oh, this will be easy, then. I'm not gonna go buy them. Stupid. Unless I need to, then I will. Maybe, I, I said the game was probably going to be a bit buggy, but we'll see. Maybe it'll fix with another cutscene. Something like that. You know? How do I find that garbage heap? This is a lot further down than I thought this was. Okay, so let's just go... This is to get out. It's very hard to control Hank when you cannot see that well. I guess there's something up here, though, so we're gonna go there. Oh, this is the area we see. Oh, we can fix this eventually. But we need the logger tools. We have access to it, but I just don't want to spend that amount of money just yet. You know? But it would be pretty convenient to do. So I think we might do that soon. Maybe there is a way to fix this screen thing, and I'm just like, dumb. If so, it wasn't made very obvious. Okay, we need to get back. Okay, so we 
go this way, this way. We already got the things. I'm not gonna go buy them, Doctor. When I can just pick them all up. Because we don't need to do that. That would be dinky. Alrighty. Got what I asked for. A dozen Louis, like you said. One, um, two. Uh, yeah, that looks right. Good. This better have been worth your time. Because next time you're ta taking him back is at a pickle jar. I'm paying double. Thanks for helping us out, mister. Miss Charlotte can't bend after the lilies like she used to. Shush, child. Charlotte, the half-tailed alligator, struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary. But didn't always stick the landing. As evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy, who, by their mere tiny presence, debunked any worry that Charlotte would actually try to fit Hank in her big boiling cauldron. That's the hope, at least. Shush, child! All right, Pipsqueak. Yes, ma'am? Scram. Yes, ma'am. Oh, now we're zoomed out. Okay. Maybe it just did that because the lilies are tinier. That's good. Did you want to talk to me? I saw a festering blob of rot the other day. It was so pretty. Okay. That was gross. I didn't want to know. Thank you, though, Twiggy. Right, there's the lamps. That's how we get out. I don't really like walking around these swamps. Not my thing. Not my style. These swamps, specific. Spe specifically! Can I get words? Can I get them? Especially at night. Night's hard to walk around there. Oh, there's more garbage. Sorry. I keep getting like a notification on my phone. I'm just checking it. You know? And you are not stepping one foot outside of this stinking dump. Not one foot. Yes, ma'am. For a month. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> the first rule of garbage garbage eology is the cream always rises to the top. So make sure you dig down deep. But it's obviously the right hand of the operation. Her skill at finding the best stuff is only matched by her loyalty to the old rat. Anton, the boss, seems like a real hard ass. But I guess you gotta be in his line of business. Wade would be closer to the left hand of the sting, useful in a limited capacity and only under strict su supervision. At least according to Anton. What a strange bunch. Yes, ma'am. I always say I've had enough of him, but then I remember the advantages of having an extra pair of paws on hand. Like, for sending out on a wild goose chase? Exactly! You're welcome. Don't flatter yourself too much. You did what you were told. But I suppose there's another end to this bargain. And we always keep our word. Now I get to use the garbages. There's so much garbage. The garbages. I can use this garbage. And I'll keep saying of it. Can I? Like, I talk like I've never spoken to a human being before. I'm so sorry. Whoa, garbage. So I guess we can come here, like, at least once a day and stuff will just be back. That's what I'm assuming this, how this works. That's what I'm guessing it is. Huh. Eh, 
it seems like there's some good stuff down here too. Like another way to get with a toolbox. All right. Weird frame for name for a road, honestly. Yeah, it's called A24. Nothing but pavement here. I guess this used to be a gas station. I can fix up. Um, I can fix this up. There we go. Oh, who is this? Ipswich? What do I do with all the money? That's a peculiar question for someone who's minding their own business. I guess I can buy stuff? Ah, okay. Cool. Let's fix up their gas station for free. That's cool. Alright, well, let's head back, I guess. For now. Um, I think... Because this area is probably going to be an area we use more. I'm going to fix this up. We can unlock fast travel there now. But let's travel to Timber Crossing. There we go. Look at that. We can tr fast travel. Oh, they didn't like us. They were scared and dropped garbage. How much monies we got? Four hundred ten. Hmm, I think we can build that room now. It's like what a hundred something. That'd be good. Build a bedroom. And I put this here. And we have a bed. Uh, that I'll put right here. Cool. So we made the room. And now I'm going to put some stuff in. cabinet here. Put this plant outside. We're making it nice and fancy, guys. Oh, this just goes... I, I want a table for that or something. There we go. Seems to be freaking out quite a bit. Put the possum clock right there. I can't put this outside. Good to know, good to know. We'll just leave it here for now. Put all our crafting stuff up here. Don't know what any of this is. That's okay. Let's move 
move some more stuff. We got all that there. Huh. Okay, cool. Now we can have two people live here at once, right? Okay, so we just got a mini quest. That's good. Um, hmm. We don't need any of this right now. I'm good without this stuff. We got one quest. I need to get past you, sir. Uh, let's fix that area so I never have to cross that spot again. Cool. We're gonna go fix that area now, okay? Let's go do that. I don't know exactly where it is, so I kinda wanna walk there to figure it out. But we could have fast traveled. All right, let's go. It says there's some garbage here. Of course I gotta pick that up. Yeah, it said we had all the tools for this. But yeah, we have someone staying there for one day. Cool, cool, cool. Probably gonna end it soon. Only because I'd like to chill out for a bit after stream today. Alright, cool. We're gonna fix this. Nice. But yeah, now we can use this. And we can cut right back to home. Um, how about we go talk to... What's his name? Tony? He's the beaver guy. Yeah, let's go talk to him. That's cool though, we found a motel, a gas station, we found a lot of stuff. Oh, I could have fixed this up. Alright, well we'll figure it out. Let's head this way. Because we haven't been over here in a bit. I like Beanie. She's cool. But yeah, we don't have another one of these. We'd have to buy it. It's like 200 But we have all the stuff to make it. But yeah, let's go find Tony. Sometimes the buttons are a little janky, but that's alright. New stuff, new stuff. We'll always grab this. How do you get into 
to this room. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna steal his toolbox. Can you not give us a thing? Uh, okay. Thought he was gonna give us a thingy to do. Okay. That's cool though that we got two of the toolboxes. We can fix up that outhouse now. Which will be really good. We should start fixing up the motel next, I'm guessing. But, it might end it momentarily and we'll continue in the next stream kind of thing. I'm just gonna get to a point of stopping. Oopsies, oopsies. This game is absolutely delightful though, and I'm very much enjoying it. Let's go fix that outhouse. And then, I don't know. Oh, that's good. that up. I do want to make a kitchen thing. Hopefully we could do that soon too. Hmm. But we have all this. I don't know how to use it yet. figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. I don't want to stop playing this today. Can we make more than one floor? That's cool. these have to go on the floor, but whatever. I think it's cool there's gonna be cooking, stuff like that. Oh, we should probably take this back to um, Beanie, right? We're gonna talk to her again, because we talked to our pal. Hmm. Alrighty. I might go talk to Beanie, get our new mission, and then I might end it there. I don't want to do all the game in one stream. I obviously won't be doing all the game in one stream, but I don't want to do too much of it in one sitting kind of thing. There we go. Oops. Keep doing that. Oh, I was like, is she not up here? There she is. There's mushrooms out there, so that can. They say they can give you the worst nightmares. I can go for some right now. Girly. Girly pop. Uh, can I use her pewter? No. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, I thought we had to give this to her. why they want to bring more people there. Isn't that bad? Aren't people, like, bad? Alright, 
we're gonna send our character home. And we're going to bed. Alright. So, I think we will walk. Oh, one of our guests left, and we just got another one. So you could put someone in the first one. But once we do that, I think it is time to get going. And I keep saying one more, one more kind of thing. I'm not trying to scare you, I'm trying to use the thingy that I have to use. Um, we'll put Jane Lawrence in room one. There we go. And we'll talk to the shark and then we're good. Uh, we press the green button. Oh, welcome! Hi, hi. I was just about to end stream. <laughs> Congratulations, you met the absolute bare minimum requirements to being a halfway decent service provider. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows? In a year or ten, you might be on your way to the minimum tax bracket. But enough talk about bleak future. Let's talk about a bright one. Your next venture is with Pawn Voyage. Remember, whenever you want to add a new premium property to the Pawn Network, find your local Pawn Shark and just press the green button. Oh. Oh. Can I make it taller? A reward is a cool new pair of pants. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm gonna play Fortnite nice. Can I get an Awa Awa? There you go. I would like to accept this job, yes. Yes. <laughs> Task in progress. Please return once the job is complete. Cool. So, we'll do that next time. I think. It says the game auto-saves. Can I make sure to save it? Um, I don't even know if it's saved. I want to make sure it auto-saves. Okay, it says auto-save. Cool. So, I think we are going to end it there for today. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying the game. This game is so cute. I really do enjoy it. Um, we will definitely be playing more of this. We have some money, we have some stuff. Now we can buy some stuff for the, for the place. Do I remember? Yeah, of course I do. Uh, but yeah, we're probably going to head out of the game now. Um, I don't know how to leave. <laughs> okay, cool. We're going to quit to the menu. Um, yes, so it does auto-save as soon as you are leaving. Your first streamer who talked to you, and I'm special. Ooh, thank you. Um, but yeah, we're going to head out for now. So, with that being said, if I press the right button, it should be showing you guys the correct screen for right now, and it did not. That's awesome. Cool. So, we are ending stream for today. Thank you, everybody, for popping in, hopping in, all that kind of stuff. It really does mean a lot to me, and I know I have kind of disappeared a little bit, but I will be coming back and doing more stuff soon. Things have just been really chaotic. Um, but yeah, I have bright plans for the future. I didn't really talk about a lot of my shop stuff, but I do have an Etsy shop. Um, all that kind of stuff is in the description. I do art, I do um, sell it, I do commissions. All that kind of stuff is down in the description. I put a bunch of links if, in case you guys are interested in finding me on different platforms and stuff like that. Um, also, I don't know when I'll be streaming next, but I will give out a warning on my Twitter, on my Instagram, um, and in the Discord. So if you want to keep being notified, you can either subscribe and hit the bell, or you can join our Discord or the Twitter, which I link down below, and if you join, you get to talk to me and a whole bunch of our other friends. So, 
all that kind of stuff's down there if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I really do appreciate it, and I hope you guys are enjoying Bear and Breakfast. And I will see you guys in the next stream. Bye-bye!